Today I'll show you how to use your DM32 manometer from RetroTech to run your TEC Duck Blaster fan. One of the nice things about this manometer is that it works with both brands. It works with both RetroTech and the Energy Conservatory. So it'll run your Duck Blaster fans and your Minneapolis blower door. To show you how we have things set up, we have our Duck Blaster fan hooked up to our RetroTech Duck Simulator. And what this is, it's basically the case that a RetroTech duck tester would come in, but it's been modified to work as a mini duck system. So it has these different ports on it that can slide to adjust air leakage. And it also has this return grill here on the end that we're connected to. And you'll notice here we have this clear flange. Uh, for those that are you that are unfamiliar with this, this is a flange that comes with a RetroTech duck tester. And it has these little metal hooks on here that can hook onto the grate. So if you're doing a duct test at final and it has the return in the ceiling, you don't have to fight gravity. It can just hook into it and that way it makes taping up to the return register a whole lot easier. First off, a little bit about the gauge. You'll notice here on the top on the ports that each port is color coded. So you have a blue, a red, a yellow, and a green. And so if you were to exchange your DG700 gauge for one of our DM32s, you'll get colored hoses that'll match with these ports so that you can use our color coding system if you choose to. Sometimes it makes uh, setup a little bit faster. You'll also notice that the gauge itself is quite a bit smaller, so it's really nice handheld device. It's about the width and height of a smartphone and works kind of the same way. So if I wanted to go into any of my settings here to change pressure, all I have to do is hit the home button to go back. So it kind of works like an iPhone that way. People that have made the switch to this gauge like it because it has this clip on the back so you can just clip it to a belt or a pants pocket to make it carrying around easier if you have to climb up into an attic. To hook the gauge up to the speed control for your duck blaster, you need this adapter. And so if you wanted to trade your gauge in for one of these, this adapter will come with it. And basically what this does is it converts the stereo jack from your speed control here on the side to our ethernet cable that then plugs into the gauge. So I'm gonna use our gauge remote app to make things show up a little bit clearer on camera. So you can see here that this app basically just mirrors the screen from the gauge on your device. You can use a phone or a tablet, Apple or Android, it'll work with anything. Uh, that way you can test remotely from anywhere in the house. So if you're looking for leaks in an attic or a crawl space, this makes life a lot easier. So you can see here, we have a picture of a RetroTech duct tester. We wanna change that because we're gonna use the duct blaster fan from TEC. So you just tap on the picture, change device, then you can scroll down, MNDB, that's Minneapolis duct blaster. We'll select that. Then you can change your ring setting. So I have it on ring three. So I will select that, and now we're set up to test. And so to set your pressure, all you have to do is set pressure. Anytime you wanna change a setting, whether it's fan speed or pressure, it always pulls up this keypad. That way you can customize your testing. So if you know on your uh, DG700, it has at 25 or at 50. On this gauge, you can do at whatever pressure you want. So we'll select 25 since we're doing a duct test. And once we hit set, we'll make sure that our speed control is on. We'll hit set. And now the fan is kicked on. It's a little noisy. We'll go ahead and have it extrapolate to 25 automatically. We'll let it, we're set up to depressurize on this one. So you can see we have our three hoses hooked up. So we have to have that extra green hose hooked up to the flex where it connects up to the fan. So we'll let it get there. And so about 67 CFM leakage is what we're seeing. On the RetroTech model, you'll notice that all the controls are located on the fan. So you'll notice that there's no separate control module to keep up with. And then once you set the pressure on the gauge, those are your controls on the gauge itself. So once you hit set pressure and test, it'll run the test automatically as we saw previously. Power cable just snaps right in. There's no nut or anything that you have to tighten down. And like I mentioned earlier with the color coding, green goes to green, yellow goes to yellow. So with the RetroTech duct tester, it's a lot easier 
to change it from pressurized to depressurized or the other way around due to this quick connect collar. So all you do is slide it off, spin it around. And snap it back on and you're finished. With RetroTech, you don't have this air straightener or anything like that that you have to add in whenever you switch fan direction. You just flip it around and turn it on and it's good to go. On the case that the duct tester comes in, the shoulder strap has a metal clamp and a ring that it claps into. So that way it'll last a whole lot longer in the field and take a lot more abuse. So now we'll run our test with the RetroTech duct tester set up. So we'll switch back to the appropriate fan. We have it on the 74 ring. We'll set our pressure to 25. And off it goes. One thing you'll notice about this fan is that it's, it's a lot quieter so that way you're not having to yell over it to speak to a client to understand to have them understand what's going on so we're getting right around the same reading at 25 around uh, 67 almost 68 cfm at negative 25 pascals So there you have it, a quick demo on how to use the DM32 gauge with both the uh, TEC duct blaster and the RetroTech duct tester. If you have any questions about anything, uh, reach out to us at RetroTech.com. Thanks.